Hi, my name is Sam Dhanashekaran and welcome to this FL Studio video series. In this video, let us take a look into transport panel. So, these buttons comprise of transport panel and let's take a look into each of them. Okay, so this one, it toggles between song and pattern mode. This is song mode. When you play something, what is something that's there in the playlist, that's song mode. And when you play what's there in the active pattern, that's pattern mode. For example, let me play the pattern mode. Okay, it's playing this. It's playing this active pattern. And if I toggle, it plays whatever is there in the playlist. Okay, so that's one. And this one, this enables metronome. Without that, it will be like this. And if you enable this, you'll hear the metronome. And you can customize the metronome. Okay. And this is record button which I will explain in detail later. But uh, all you need to know is when you want to record, you press record and then you choose whatever options that you want and then you hit play, it will do the recording. Okay, I'll explain the recording button later because there are a lot of things here in this transport panel alone uh, which would be very helpful if you spend some time uh, to learn. When you do a right click, on the record button, you will get various options of what to record. For example, if you enable automation, you can record the automation. Like while recording, if you adjust the volume or panning parameters, those parameters will also be recorded. And when you play using a MIDI instrument, you can record the notes. Okay. And when you use a microphone to record the audio, you can record the audio also by choosing this. Uh, sometimes uh, people disable notes and enable audio uh, in one unique situation where uh, they want the singer to hear what a keyboardist plays, but they don't want to record the notes of the keyboardist. Okay, so in that case, you know, the singer can sing and the keyboardist can give just the cards and <clears throat> the audio from the singer would be recorded, ignoring the notes from the keyboardist. Okay, Clips is used for uh, performance mode, which is out of this video's scope. Okay, And uh, this is tempo. When you do a right click, you have various options of setting the tempo. By default, it's 130. You can change it to 150 or whatever number you want. You can also tap. For example, if you want to do tack, 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 then use your mouse. You do this tack, 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 tack. So then you will get an idea of where your tempo would be. Okay. And this thing, loop recording and blend recording and wait for input to start playing. This is one of my favorite options here, which I will explain. Each needs its own video. And this one is, when you do a right, a right click, you can choose how many bars to be used as a pre-count duration. For example, when you hit record and play, the recording is going to start, right? And you want some pre-counts before the recording starts. Do you want that to be one bar or do you want that to be two bar? I generally use this wait for input which I love it when I do recording. Okay, I'll explain these things in the subsequent videos. Thank you.